Welcome to Wolves and Waterfalls. Today I'm taking you to Bavarian style town here in Washington called Leavenworth. It's about a two and a half hour drive from Seattle and it's really beautiful in the winter time. While we're here, we're gonna visit a reindeer farm, grab some bratwurst for lunch, and then walk around and enjoy the snow. Down the hill, you're not gonna wear them today. They're gonna work just like tickets. You'll pass them in at the main gate. I'll have complimentary hot chocolate and hot cider right here for you guys after. Oh, awesome. Okay, thanks guys, have fun. Uh, 20 bucks per person. Okay, we just got to the reindeer farm and I'm not really sure what the process is here, how it's gonna go or how long it is, but I'm excited. Um, they told us you can't be around sheep or goats before you come here because I guess they can carry diseases that could then be on your clothes and transfer to the reindeer, which is actually potentially harmful to them. So. Just something to keep in mind if you're coming here. Yeah, I don't know, I'm excited. After we picked up our tickets, we were told to gather on the fire pit and wait for our tour guide to arrive. Hans here, one of the farm owners, kicked things off with a bunch of random facts that basically convinced me reindeer are one of the coolest animals on the planet. We then got a quick safety briefing and we picked up these little food dishes. Once you're in the pen, you can feed any of the reindeer who are interested, although that can be a challenge as I will try and show you. You can also pet the reindeer as long as you ask a staff member first since not all of them like being touched. Come on, Allison. I'm coming. Wait, so I can put it on my hands, right? Yep, they don't have teeth. Hello, reindeer. Once you get all the way up to the plot spot, you guys can start feeding. Oh my goodness. Get all the way in first. Hello, reindeer. Of course they do. You want the bull. You want the big bull. Oh my god! <laughs> you want oh. all your food. Oh. Okay, guys. Save some I food, Yuti. Don't use it all. Get some food. Hello, pretty. Do you want some food? Do you want some food? He wants that hot chocolate outside. Yeah, I'll give you the whole thing. No way. You see, that's spoiled. For you now. Hi, buddy. While we're looking at all these cute reindeer, I thought I'd share a few of the cool things I learned about them. The first is that their hair that makes up the fur is actually hollow. This provides insulation in the winter time and is one of the things that allows them to survive in really cold climates. Because there's air in their fur, it also provides a little bit of buoyancy in the water, which makes them very good swimmers. Reindeer also shed their antlers once a year, so if you see one like this guy who only has one antler, it's totally normal and he will eventually lose that one too. Ready? No, not that one. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Feel the teeth, but it's not hurting you. Oh, you're just licking it! <laughs> wow, this one's really hungry. Are you really eating it? Uh, this is yeah, man. Just give me the whole cup. Just kinda, Let's do it. He doesn't really like it. Drop the whole cup, you see. Come on, look how cute I am. <laughs> oh yeah. So can, we can so it to like a loose tooth. It's a little bit annoying. It's a little bit painful, and then when it's ready to come off, it just. Uh, <laughs> he said, "There's not enough." <laughs> He's still coming. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay. Enjoy. Okay. I kind of feel bad for you because your neck looks like it's hurting. <laughs> Tristan. Here's your food. This is a small one. These ones don't seem interested. Maybe they were eating already. You want some? Nope. I feel like you get denied a lot. Now I know. I know. Reindeer's so only king. Cutie. You know, it was kind of getting hot on they just threw fresh over the tent. They don't require it, but so we have bumped. Oh, I have a little bit more of that. Let them go. Hello. You're so cute. I want to pet you. In total, you end up with about 20 minutes in the reindeer pen. It really flies by, to be honest, so 
pet them and love them and feed them as fast as you can. <laughs> After that, you can head back up the hill and get a free cup of either hot chocolate or cider. Thank you. Yeah, have a nice day. You, you too. too. We just finished at the reindeer farm and now we're more in like the central part of Leavenworth, so where all the shops and the restaurants are. I think we're gonna get some bratwurst now to eat because I don't know if I can go to Leavenworth and not get a bratwurst. They have this one place, I think it's called Munchen House and it's so good. So that is on the agenda. And then just walking around, maybe drone a little bit or something, get some shots and just relax. One is like a mix. So the whole cheddar will be the house. The cheddar will be the only one that for you. I'm gonna do Helga's giant kielbasa with dill relish, ketchup, extra ketchup. Extra ketchup. Yeah, or like on the side or something. Okay. I just really like ketchup. <laughs> Would you like me to put you on the wait list? We literally just missed this huge line. Oh, this is definitely a Yuting one. It's got mustard all over it. Oh my gosh, there's so much ketchup. That dude hooked it up. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all ketchup. Too much for you? No. Nah. It's so messy. Where's my dog? Oh, next to me. Where is my super soup? After lunch, we walked around an area called Waterfront Park. This is one of my favorite things to do in Leavenworth, and it's totally free. To get there, you just walk towards the river from the town area and then head downhill. Leavenworth is pretty small too, so you can't miss it. Hey, are they sledding down there? Very small hill though. In the summertime, you can go tubing down the river here, but it is freezing. Even on the hottest of days, this river is one of the coldest I have ever experienced, especially in Washington. This ended up being our last stop before we went home. Kind of a short Leavenworth visit, but it gets dark early in the winter time and we had a long drive ahead of us. Since that wraps things up though, I'm gonna leave you with some drone shots and just a big thank you for watching this video. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.